Welcome to Ollie Inspector version 2 and in this video I just want to get you quickly started with the software. What you want to do here is there's four major tools inside of the software. There's the keyword generator, let me just clear those out, keyword generator, best sellers, product search, In the product search allows you to search by keyword and also your favorites where you can save all your favorite products to use later on for all sorts of different things. Now there are other tools in here, for example, you can look at product details, extract product sales history, you can download product images and descriptions, you could import products into Shopify and WooCommerce, you can create, you can actually um, import product reviews into Shopify and WooCommerce as well, so all these tools are available, we'll be providing different videos for those, but let's just get started. So the keyword generator, what it does, it helps you uncover possible niches um, that you can get into or possible products you never even dreamed of. So all you have to do is just start with your seed keyword. Let's say, for example, you're into hunting. That is your niche that you're doing your e-com store for. Just type in hunting. If you use the deep search, this can take up to 10 to 20 minutes. That takes a long time. But if you just click go like that, what it's doing, it's going out to AliExpress using their search engine and getting the search engine results by appending the alphabet to this seed keyword, as you can see here, and then giving you the rank, which is basically the position of that keyword within the AliExpress search engine. So you get all these keywords, and now you have the ability to quickly look at different ideas for your particular niche which is pretty awesome. For example, when we have hunting, we can just we can sort by rank here, all the number one position keywords, and we also have the number of results that are on AliExpress. If we hold down the shift key, we can do a multi-sort, so we can sort all of the number one ranks for results. As you can see here, if it's the number two, it will sort down here. So now we can look at some of these, so a hunting light, for example, could be something we can search. Let's go to the best sellers. In the best sellers, you have the ability to search several different categories, all women, men, electronics, sports. We'll be adding more categories as we find them in here, but for now that's what we have. And all you have to do is just pick a category, for example, electronics, click go, and it's gonna go out and get the best sellers. These best sellers are updated every week on AliExpress, so they change all the time. And after you collect all the data here for each individual product, you'll notice that there are some columns that do not have any data extracted. To get that data, simply click more, more data button and select extract data for all rows. And it'll go out and grab that data for those particular products. Now you can see all the different data you get here and there's a lot of very powerful data that's extracted in the software. And so now what we can do, we can actually, you can filter all this data really quickly just by selecting the drop down quick filters. They apply to all of the columns that have numbers in them. If you'd like to quickly search by text in the, in the uh, text columns, you can click search at the bottom and you can select the columns that you would like to search text in and you just start typing. You know, do the uh, filtering as you type, or you can use your own custom filters down here, click filters, and you can add your own filters. As you can see, when you do a particular filter on the dropdown, you'll automatically show up in the filters window. You can save filters, or save your filters to a file and load them after if you'd like. You can clear filters down the bottom here on the on the bottom bar. In the product search, what you can do here, let me just clear this out, you got three different ways to search for products. The first is using the AliExpress search engine, the next is using the Bing search engine, and then you can also manually import products um, in here. So manually put uh, paste in product links and the software will go and grab the data for those product links. So this one here searches AliExpress, and all you have to do here is just enter a search, a search keyword. You have the option to select a category 
We have 357 in here that you can select from. If you want to search the categories, just simply type a keyword in here, for example, like fish, and click filter, and it'll see if there's a category containing that word. So we can select fishing if you'd like. You have all these different options to select from. This page range is really cool because now you have the ability to select a page range you would like to search on AliExpress. A lot of customers have told me they don't like getting a looking at products on the first couple of pages on the search results on AliExpress because they're too competitive. So they like to start maybe at page three and go to say page, I don't know, six. And then all you have to do is just click search. And the first time you use all the inspector, you may see a window pop up that tells you, look, you have to log in to your account. Let me try to simulate that real quickly. I'm going to pause this here and start a new one. So let's type in phishing, search. not coming up yet. Anyhow, you will see a window eventually will pop up asking you to log into your account. And that's normal. This is the window here. This window will pop up and it will look like this. It'll say you have to log into your account. All you have to do is just enter your um, email and your password, click sign in and the search will continue. You have the option to save your username and password up here. You don't have to if you don't want to. Your password's completely secure within the software. No one could get it anywhere. It's all encrypted. But it's just handy so you don't have to keep on entering it in here. Once you have it, you just click, you know, got copy there and control V on your keyboard. And then you can sign in like that. And then it will continue working. It'll automatically shut down and continue searching. And what's really cool here is the AliExpress tool here within the product search is the only tool that will ask you to log into your AliExpress account. That's because we're using the AliExpress search engine. Now once you've got this data for this particular tool, you'll notice there's a lot of columns again that are not extracted. To get that data, again, you just select the extract all data, but within this particular tool, we actually have downloading threads. So you can select a maximum of 15 downloading threads and download 15 products at a time. So more data, extract all rows, and you'll see 15 come at a time. Boom, just like that. It's extremely fast, and you can go through a thousand products in like less than a couple of minutes, which is light years ahead sorry, light speed ahead of the last version of Ali Inspector. And so just like that, we just got 144 products and all of this awesome data that comes through here. We also have the Bing, so if we clear this out, with the Bing search tool, we actually don't have to use the more data option. It does it automatically for us and on top of it, Using the Bing tool, you will never ever see that window that comes up that says you have to log into AliExpress, or you'll never see a window that pops up that says you have to enter a capture image. This is all done from the Bing search engine. Pretty wicked. So if we type in, let's say, camping, you select your maximum number of Bing pages. There's usually 10 results per page on Bing. So this should get about, a, you know, between 100 to 150 results. Sometimes results are, um, duplicate so it may not show up in here anyhow we can select again 15 threads click search now it's going to bing and it's grabbing all of those all that data and extracting it right here for you so you can see just how fast it is it's incredible so you can see here we got 102 products really quickly and all the data so that's another way to extract information, but it's really awesome because you're actually getting this data from Bing, a top search engine. And usually when products show you know, high up in the search engines, they're very popular amongst uh, people that are searching for them. So this is just another way to get data that you probably would never got using AliExpress. Let's continue to the manual input. This one you have to enter in products. So let's say for example, if you're on AliExpress, and you're searching around on all the express for different products. For example, like this, you can select your link up here in the browser address bar, right click and copy, paste it right in here, and then click extract data. 
and it will just go ahead and grab it all for you, which is awesome. Another really cool thing you can do is you can actually scrape content from, um, scrape links from any given content. So one way to do that is you can head over to say Google, for example, and type in site aliexpress.com forward slash item forward slash space double quote double quote inside the double quotes type in your main seed keyword let's say phishing and then click enter and I'm logged into my Google account and in my settings I was able to set I wanted a maximum of where was it now somewhere in here there's a, a way of setting how many search results you want to have I can't remember where it is to be honest it, it, so I have 200 results showing up here and all we have to do is go right click view page source right and then we can go control a to select all right click and copy go back to AliExpress or sorry Ali inspector paste it in this little window here click extract links and boom I just found 188 links again we can do our downloading threads and click extract data and it's going to go out and grab all of that data and what's cool is these links originated from Google so it's just another way we've integrated a way of extracting valuable product data from AliExpress within Ali Inspector version 2 you can see it's just incredible I'm just gonna pause here so went through 120 there and we got all of our data we can save all of our data to project files, interact HTML file. You can view your data by clicking the preview button and you can view all the data in your web browser in this nice file. You can even hover your images or hover your mouse over the images to see larger images. You can also right click and view product details and it's the product detail window where you can see all the details of the product. You can look at different pictures. You can see the description, variations, titles. This is handy if you want to manually import products in your Shopify or WooCommerce or any e-commerce platform because now you can just copy the title, copy the price, copy the keywords, the variations and so forth and paste them wherever you want. And when this window is open, you can actually just double click any row and it'll automatically load that product into the quick de product details window. You can also select what you like and send it over to your favorites and your favorites will always be stored here. You have a bunch of other options as well. You can send keywords over to the keyword to, to the keyword generator. You can see there's a keywords column here. You also have the option to copy all sorts of data, keywords, product links to your clipboard. You can um, get more data as we explained there. You can export. Uh, stuff to different tools in here that I explained. We're going to create different videos for each of these for getting the product images and description, create product import file, create Shopify product reviews, and so on. And another very powerful tool is you can right click and extract product sales history. Let's find one that has a lot of orders. Where is it? Sort by orders here. And we can right click extract product sales history and AliExpress allows you to get the most recent 1000 transactions so you can select the amount of transactions here click go and what it's doing is going and grabbing the most recent 1000 transactions for this particular product and we'll just take a few moments here and then we can see some pretty amazing data that you can use in your advertising for promoting this product so if you're promoting this product, for example, let's see what it is actually, on some fishing line, promoting this product, now you know all this valuable data directly from AliExpress. Russia and Brazil are the two countries that have the most number of sales. See, these are the transactions by country. You can also, at the bottom, you can also select quantity or revenue. Quantity is basically the quantity of units that were purchased for that number of transactions. So there could be one transaction, but the actual buyer could have bought several quantity of that, of whatever that product is. For example, that fishing line, maybe they bought 10 of them for one transaction. That's what the quantity is. And then the estimated revenue, 
um, based on that quantity is he's here so you can see which countries are making the most which is Russia then Brazil and Poland and then you can continue on here there's actually more data you can see the data by date for this particular extraction you can see we found 13 days of transactions so there was a thousand transactions that span across 13 days that means it's selling quite a bit you know thousand transactions last you know two weeks is pretty good now you can see by date you can also see by day of week for now we know that Monday is the strongest day that's when all the sales have been for this particular product for all countries and hour of day so now we know four o'clock is the most popular time for all the countries but let's say we're only interested in seeing Russia just double click this over here and it'll automatically show you the data for just Russia for just Russia it's actually noon and those days are Sunday Monday and by date you can see each date how many sales there were and you can just keep clicking whatever country you want and you could see all of this valuable data you can even save this data to a project file or you can export the data to common delimited file for the summary or the transactions data you can save all of these charts to JPEG images now if you want to view the chart if it's a little bit too um, uh, narrow and you can't view things you can actually zoom into the chart first of all you can actually just expand the window but let's say you're like that and you want to expand it in you want to zoom in you left click and drag to the lower right hand corner like this and it will zoom in you can right click and drag the graph wherever you want to reset the graph you left click and drag to the upper left hand corner and it will reset cool huh and that's how you use the product transaction so that's basically a quick start on how to get going and how to use the software make sure to watch the other videos to give you more insights on how to use each individual tool thanks for watching and welcome to Ali Inspector version 2